Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a product review in partnership with The Renatural. This is the Wig Fix. It is a wig grip, it's a silicone wig grip, and I have it in three colors. I'll tell you all about this wig grip, the pros and the cons. I actually reviewed this a number of years ago, and so I kind of consider this an update. I'll be able to show you some of the different colors and give you an update on the product. So if you want to know more about the wig fix, stick around. I would like to thank The Renatural for sending me two of these so that I could show them to you. I already have the transparent, which is on my head, and I'll take it off in a moment so you can see it. I reviewed the wig fix uh, three years ago now, I think, and so this is more of an update video, but many of you probably haven't seen that review. So I'm excited to give you guys another resource for wig wearing that may help you. Not everything is for everyone. So if you've ever tried other wig grips and you didn't feel that they worked for you, maybe the wig fix could be an option for you. Before I talk about it, I'm just gonna tell you that the wig I have on is John Renault Carey. It is a human hair wig by John Renault in the color Salted Caramel. I do have a video out there talking about this. I've reviewed a number of Careys in the past. So if you're curious, you can go check out those videos. But that is the wig that I have on. So when I originally I reviewed the wig fix, they only had the transparent now they actually have five colors transparent and then we've got fair tan medium and deep the two that I have in addition to the transparent are the fair this is the fair and this one's the tan I also did take a picture a side-by-side -side picture of all three of these on my head so that you can see what they look like through the parting space on the wig I will tack that picture on the end so that you can see what that looks like and I'll kind of tell you my preference at the very end of this Let's video talk. stats so the wig fix fit sizes the circumference sizes between 17 and 25 inches that is a huge range and part of the reason for that is its stretchy nature let me make sure it's all going the same direction it's an incredibly stretchy wig grip this is made of 100 percent medical grade in addition silicone. this only works with glueless wigs most of you who watch my channel, if you are a watcher of my other videos, wear glueless wigs generally. Glueless wigs are just wigs that you don't have to glue down to stay. Now, that doesn't mean that the lace front doesn't have to be glued down, but that the, the wig itself is, it's a tighter cap, it's not an all lace cap, it's not a 360 lace cap. It has some structure to it so that you don't actually have to glue it down to so wear. So let's talk about the claim that it helps to regrow hair. I have some notes here. I wanted to get it right so basically silicone in a medical environment in the medical world is used to help promote healing of the skin it's used to help burn victims it's used to help prevent scarring and so their claim this is what it looks like on my head this is the transparent their claim that this can help promote hair growth comes from that medical but it literature. creates a microclimate underneath the silicone and it's considered a closed healing environment called occlusion and that's what they base that on it's uh, textured so on these wig grips we have these little nubs it's textured to create gentle compression which helps increase and encourage blood flow and they do have a video testimony at their website from someone who claims this helped her uh, grow her damaged hair so let's take a look at this and then I'll kind of share the pros and cons so this one is the transparent it's basically clear then you've got wash fair. This with soap and water dish soap and so this is a very very light light like a fair complexion very very fair this and then one. this one is the tan so this is, you know, more of a kind of a neutral, this is a little bit of a warmer color. So those are the three colors. Then again, they also have a medium and a deep, which I don't have to show you. So basically what you do is you take the wig grip and you put it on and I'm about to share what I consider a potential con, so I want you to pay attention. So I, what I do is I hook it under, which is why I get makeup on it, I hook it under my chin and then I pull it over my head. 
I don't want it touching my hair when I first pull it over my head. Because this silicone is really grippy, it can pull your bio hair if you're not careful. I've mastered, I used to wear my transparent one all the time. When I first got it, I wore it probably for the first year every time I went to the gym and wore a gym wig. So I did wear that one a lot and I mastered how to do this without pulling my hair. It is absolutely possible. And back then I had longer hair. My hair was shoulder length. It was still super fine, but I hadn't started buzzing my hair yet. I have a much easier time with my hair this short than when it was longer. So keep that in mind as well. But then I pull it. So now it's hooked on the back of my neck and I'm pulling it up and then I'm gonna set it down. And the reason I do it that way is I don't wanna pull on my hair. Once I get it on, then I can slide it into place and it not only does it not pull my hair, but it really kind of pulls all that hair back and holds it securely. So if you're having trouble with your hair poking out of your wigs, that might be one solution for you. So then that's really it. So you don't have to wear it a certain way. The nubs are on both sides. There's not a right way or a wrong way. You can just put it on any way you want. Then you just take your wig and you put it on like normal, just like that and then get it arranged, and it's really very secure. I mean, I mean, the wig's not going anywhere. It's a very, very secure way to hold your wig you on know, your In head. addition, because it's so stretchy and it's really very thin, very, very thin, I don't have a problem when I wear the wig fix with my lace lifting in the front. That is one thing that can happen with some wig grips is it adds just enough uh, thickness right where you wear it that sometimes it's hard to get the lace to lay flat on a wig I don't have that issue with this one and if you were to ever have that problem I just recommend you push it back a little bit further sometimes people wear their wig grips really far forward if you have a lace front wig it makes sense to push it a little bit further back so that any height that that gives doesn't impact your the other thing that I think is great about the wig fix so the, sort of the pros is it will not slip on your bio hair so one of the things that I've heard from a lot of you and I've experienced when I was growing my hair back out recently is some wig grips because when we're losing our hair it's so fine and so slippery some wig grips have trouble staying so I showed you guys a solution where you take like a, a stronghold hairspray and you spray it on your hair then you put your wig grip over it so it will hold that in place when it dries you don't have to worry about that with the wig fix this isn't going to slip on your baby fine slippery hair that is a tremendous pro Let's of talk this about product. the challenges my battery's about to die. Hold on. I was pushing it just a little bit too far on that. So anyway, continuing on with the challenges. Well, the first challenge, I sort of uh, alluded to it in the beginning of this. It can pull your bio hair. Now, it doesn't pull my bio hair when it's on. So just sitting on my head like this, it's not pulling on my bio hair. Once I get it situated, it's fine. But when you put it on and take it off, that can be a challenge. So when I take it off, I sort of lift it and I just sort of work it around till it's off my head. I don't slide it off because that's where it can really pull you. The your other hair. thing I want to mention is if you sweat a lot and you're a head sweater, I feel like this exacerbates that just a And little. maybe because this isn't absorbent, like the cloth wig grips, I noticed whenever I would take it, it would be off. really wet on the underside because I feel like it just traps that sweat in there wherever you wear it. So I don't know if it causes you to sweat more, but it definitely traps they that. You do have sweat. a money back guarantee, so you can try it to see if it will work. All right, for let you. me put the last one on. And actually, I probably should have shown you the scalp, but you'll see that before and after, or not the before picture, but you'll see the side by side comparisons. Do you see how easy this is for me to put on now? It's because I I had all that experience so don't fret if it's a little challenging in the beginning so let's sh let me show you see if you can can you see that through there so this one shows the darkest maybe I'll quickly I should have done this before forgive me you guys I'm not trying to waste your time but let me just show you what this one looks like again you'll see the pictures at the end but sometimes it's better to see it live action so we'll do that here so at the end of the day not everything works for every person this is not going to be any different so you may love a specific cloth wig grip and this one may not be for you or 
you may love and honestly you guys because you can see it through what and you but you can't see it in the front I would just take some face powder and I would dab some face powder on there to meet up with that which it just occurred to me can be a real pro if you've got dark knots and you're trying to find a way that it will look a little bit more natural if you wear one of these all you have to do is dab powder up to meet it and you don't have to deal with the whole part line sort of like a, a silk top where you've got a transition line uh, some human hair wigs have silk tops and sometimes you can see that transition line really really well and all you have to do is dab a little powder to meet it well this would be the same okay last one I'm going to show you this one's the transparent and it really doesn't show at all so whatever you have underneath your wig whether it be bio hair or no bio hair that's essentially what you'll see if I had to choose I would probably just choose the transparent that way I can just deal with whatever I have to deal with up here but I really do like the fair even though it's a lot lighter than my skin tone so is my scalp and so to me that looks really natural but anyway let's wrap this up I think this is a great option if you're really struggling to secure your wigs and what you've tried in the past hasn't worked or maybe you haven't tried anything yet this could be worth trying I think for some people this is gonna be amazing and it's gonna be the last wig grip you ever need Need. for other people who have sensitive skin you might find that the compression caused by this uh, maybe is a little itchy on your scalp or a little irritating we're all so different so I just encourage you to do your research think about all of the products that are available to you out there and try some things it's a learning curve but it can be fun if you go at it with an open mind. Thank you so much, The Renatural, for sending me these two so I could show everybody and just sort of update you guys on my thoughts on the wig fix now that I have way more experience with wig wearing than I did in the beginning. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video.